2020 Riot 8000. First things first, there's the Riot 8000 and the Riot 8000 X. The X has the mountain spindles and comes with a 2.2 inch track. The Riot 8000 has a 1.3 option and a 1.6. And the trail spindles. For stand up purposes, I would say the riser is a little low. I feel like it's kind of. Maybe it's just kind of far back. Eight thousand feels pretty good in this. I rode it last year with a ZR eight thousand with I act. Definitely feels a little bit more peppy in this sled. Yeah, de definitely does not get up onto one skis easily. It does have adjustable skis, which I think is nice. The Polaris, the Bushing's on the inside of the spindle and it's attached to the spindle, so you can't actually uh, adjust them, whereas on this you can. Right now it's set in the wider stance, so that might be. Ooh, feels good through the bumps though. Man, that was nice. The Articat front suspension's good stuff. It definitely does not does not put up one ski as easily as the Polaris does. Could be a suspension setting. Could be uh, just the sled itself. Hard to say. What's up with that right ski? A little weird. Got some good, it's got some good punch though. All right, in the trails. I like it, I like it. Hooks up pretty good, no ski lift like the uh, salt. So probably the plus of, the plus of the wider and adjustable skis. I do feel like the cat panels on the updated bodywork kind of force your legs out, which bit of a stumble. Which, you know, good and bad. I feel like when you fall forward into the bodywork, it kind of can be uncomfortable, but you can really like rail a corner because of it. Ah, seat is really soft. When you get on the outer edge of it, it kind of forces its way into you. Power's good, man. I did not like the 8000 last year on that uh, IAC sled. This one's good. Maybe they clutched them differently, or maybe they uh, geared it differently, but it feels good. These have the 1.6 inch Cobra, so a lot like the Assault. 146 inch track rather than a 144, so kind of like a uh, backcountry X in that respect. I have to say, Snow Track said it's more like a backcountry X slash XRS. I don't see that. I do. I, it feels pretty good on the trail. say the handling feels like just with like maybe a six inch shaper it would be spot on uh, three I don't know power's good I like it feels fast I can't seem to get this one to wheelie. Uh, I noticed this kid in the yellow up here is getting it up pretty well, but I'm not sharing that. Brake's a little squealy. 
cool 100 degrees. It's pretty solid. A little tippy? Yeah. Rob thinks it's tippy. If I were to get a ride X, it would be replacing the RR, so. Rob's opinion matters, because he's on it most of the time. A little bit of a weird stumble I've been noticing with this sled. Right there. At slow speeds as I get going, a bit of a weird stumble. Stand-up ergonomics aren't where I want them to be. I might be a little tall for it, but maybe it's as easy as a riser adjustment, but for me, I'm not, I'm not huge on the way it feels. Doesn't lift the skis. I can't get it to at least. Yeah, nothing. Right on couple suspension, you can't really tell. I would say this is a, definitely a more direct competitor of the Assault than the Backcountry X and XRS. Uh, pretty good trail manners. I don't see how it would be super off-trail friendly. It's probably why they came out with the X. Put the mountain spindles on it and really give it that extra bit of performance off-trail. I do like it. I think it, it's a competitor, and especially at the price point. So, Articat's doing a, the Snowmageddon event. Uh, I believe that the MSRP of a ride is 14.2, and then right now it's 11.5 11, 11 or 11.8. I can't quite remember if you get one during Snowmageddon. On top of that, they'll only be doing snow check sleds this season. Yeah, there's that stumble again. I don't know what the heck's up with that. Uh, on top of that, you can only spring check a sled this year. There's no in-season models, so... Yeah, it's heavy on its front front end. You can very much feel it. It's Articat's trail front end. But So for the price, I would say it's a great option. If you want the, the big power of like an 800 and you want something a little different than an Assault, because there's a lot of them out there. Uh, it's a good option. I think the price is a big selling point. If these were a $13,000 sled, I think it'd be a little harder to justify, but it's cool. The seat feels pretty good. It's too soft, but uh, I like the shape of it. I think if the foam was a little stiffer, it'd be pretty good. That's kind of a Articat thing, though. I don't know why their seats are always so soft. It just doesn't really transfer the weight. I didn't find it to be tippy, but I obviously ride in Assault, so... Pointing at my sled, doesn't even know I'm behind him. Not bad. Uh, it didn't really get me too excited. I feel like it's a, a very good trail option if you want the uh, occasional, I'd call it like a 70-30 on-trail, off-trail mix. I think it handles pretty good on-trail. About the same as the Assault, maybe a little bit better. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I could help you out. And uh, if you're getting it right, let me know. I know a lot of you guys are cat guys, so very interested to see who uh, wants one of these. You thought it was tippy, huh? I did. Really? Well, I Do you guys think it was tippy? I got, I got a little know, a squirrel in yeah. one corner, but yeah, yeah. I, got, I got a couple icy turns. It's probably us assault guys are used to it. Oh, <laughs> I'm used to my, like, I thought it was kind of flat almost, but. Did you guys think it was tippy at all or not? One corner, I'm like, whoa. The back end, not the front so much. The back end turns. Yeah. He might just be a short track guy. Not in a bad way. I'm just saying, like, I think maybe you would prefer the dynamics of him better. Is there an X? 